Greetings, welcome back to the sinking city and god damn it, I really thought I found the house What is it? What's it? Levy Coffin Avenue, not far Oh, okay, so I'm supposed to go through here actually That makes a lot of sense I guess What am I looking for though? Am I looking for a house? For, no, for, for a building? <laughs> the home speak properly today and I was just asked to find some cartoon an old cartoon okay I haven't found it yeah for some reason I am the person that haven't really watched any cartoons when I was little, yet I'm always the one being asked to find some. And it turns out, I, I found, I find them. I don't know why. It just works. I'm, am I on the right street? Yes. So why the hell? What the hell am I looking for, really? The birthday. The person also need to fetch a crate from the house. From the house. Okay, so I'm looking for a house on that street. Maybe it's behind. I don't know where I'm supposed to go. There's no way to enter anything here. Wait, am I on the right? No. Wait. So it might be a little bit further. It's supposed not to, it is supposed not to be far from the maybe it's maybe it is out of the infested area. That would make a lot of sense, right? To be out of the infested area. I don't think we were guided even once to the infest area for the main case, but holy hell. And the Levy Coffin Lay. It's not here, right? Or I'm blind. Please tell me you didn't reset. There's nothing I'm gonna check all the doors here. In case I missed something. Is there something else I cannot pick up? Ah, anything. Everything that I cannot carry anymore off. This is close as well. Holy hell. Really, where is it? Is this? No. That's not it as well. Okay, give me a second here and I will look through and through for the door we can open. Be right back. Okay, I don't know why I was so obsessed. Hello, hello, what's going on? I cannot get... My controller broke. Okay. Okay, I fixed it, finally. Yeah, I don't know why, but somehow my mind was locked on the idea that the place we're looking for has to be on the, on the others. Has to be somewhere down here, and I forgot that this street goes both ways, not only one. God damn it. I don't know what's wrong with me, to be honest. Maybe I played too much. I can hear something slithering. I know I know those places are usually safest. I think I was attacked by humans more than monsters. Okay, what do we have here? No, it's trapped. 
gunpowder. Shell casings, some more, more gunpowder. Okay, let me guess. It's in the basement. <sighs> I hate it. Why does it always have to be in the basement? Left by something heavy with wheels. Okay. And blood's almost dry. What's that? Gasoline. Empty. Reeks of gasoline. Oh. I've seen ashes like this before. Well, that's one way to get rid of a corpse. Yes. No. Pretty sure there's there's a illusion. Put here. I hate that doctor. Okay, a whiskey crate. And some stuff I cannot carry more of. No mercy, boys. He's been asking for this. <sighs> Someone on wheelchair, okay. Come on. Get rid of him. Leave nothing but ashes. Understood? You're done, kid. Someone talks to the cops behind my back. They're history. Get him, boys. Poor fella. Whose idea was it to hide the crates in such a stupid way? Time to figure this out. Okay, for one. You're done, kid. No two, mercy, boys. Three. Get rid of him. Leave nothing but ashes. Four. Drock. Whose idea was it to hide the crates in such a stupid way? No. So one. Drock. Whose idea was it? Your dumb kid. Three. Someone talks to the. No mercy, boys. Four. Get rid of him. Leave nothing but ashes. Understood? Yeah. Someone was looking for a crate here. He was brutally killed. The crew that did it were headed up by a guy in a wheelchair. Key evidence collected. Okay, show me the other one as well, please. All evidence collected. Fantastic, we can get out of here. <laughs> I hate that. <laughs> okay, now we can get to Gloomhaven. Bay. Wait, which way? Yeah, get there by going through here and straight through, if I remember correctly. Oh, stop it, I clean this way very nicely. There's a no monster left. I used a lot of ammunition. I'm not gonna lie. Not here. Here. Okay, my marker got deleted for some reason. And it was somewhere here. Right? Right? <laughs> nope. Wrong way. I cannot understand how the hell am I still getting lost? Okay, here's your crate. Well, I found your courier. I hate to break it to you, but he's dead. Someone didn't like him talking to the cops, and, well, they made it pretty savage. Well, okay, I'm dead. He might think I was in on it. He? Who's he? A boss. Is there anything I can do to help? Nay, hey, I'll handle it. But take my advice. 
The boss is the only man who can arrange a bon voyage. Don't do anything to make him unhappy. There, a newcomer. Here's the note with your instructions. Beyond that, you're on your own. Okay, thanks. Here's your water of life. Shh, keep it down, pal. Not too shabby, newcomer. You deserve a reward for this. Bye. Thank you. Okay, so we have new instructions now, and we have some new clue. A man in a wheelchair made an example of the courier by burning him alive for his betrayal. Yeah, it seems like it. The courier was particularly known, that's not it, rendezvous point. An alley on Will Windmill Avenue between Octopus Avenue and Skipper Road. Southern Salvation Arbor. Question. What does one do with a dog? Answer. The dog is rabbit, so it must be killed. Damn! Okay, Southern Salvation Arbor. Alley on Windmill Avenue between Octopus and Skipper Road. So it's here. Oh, okay, we'll go by foot. Let's get rid of that and we'll be on our way. Wait, I have two points still? Oh, this one let's delete it. We have, go, we have to go down here. Again, this stuff. This is the, this is the thing, thing that wears a cat. Uh, damn, I hate it. No, it's not here. Go down here, and the next turn left. Oh, something here. Can't carry anymore. God damn it. Uh, wait, can I make some? No, I'm full of on everything. Nice. It's really nice. I don't trust your fresh fish. People are gonna die because of those fish. And I hope George, you made it. You feel pretty stupid for letting his ex-wife, crazy ex-wife, know that he poisoned the fish. Okay, where do I go? Okay, I'll go for here. This is a whole lot easier if you have no idea what you're doing whatsoever. <laughs> Just drift. Ooh, is it is it here? Hey fella. What do you do when you see a dog? Pet it or kick it away? I'd kill it because the dog's rabid. Right you are. You're a new one, huh? Come with us. Just take me to your boss. Okay, that was quick. <laughs> I hope they won't kill me on sight. As they, as people usually do. Wait, he's not on the wheelchair? Hello, lady. I, no, you're not Anna, right? How you doing, handsome? You sound drunk. Okay, boss. That's pretty nice. This looks awful like the one in the... Like I said, fear. What the drug do you want? Let's be quick about it, kid. I don't have the whole damn day. I'm Charles Reed, Private Eye. Heard you can help with uh, certain things. <laughs> so you want a favor from me, Mr. Reed? And what would that be? I want to smuggle a man out of the city. A lot of people want to leave Oakmont, kid. Few ever succeed. It won't be easy. And, like everything in life that's worthwhile, <laughs> it won't be cheap. So, what's it gonna cost me? Normally, I wouldn't do drock for a newcomer. But you're doing business with that old ape lover, Throgmorton. I think that's interesting. 
That tells me you're worth something, kid. Now, I have a job needs doing, but it needs to stay between the two of us. I'm fine with doing a job for you, but is this gonna be on the up and up? I've got a reputation to think about. If you're here, kid, then I can't imagine you have a boatload of options. Don't wanna do the job for me? Then get lost, and be glad you're still breathing. <sighs> Guess I have no choice. So, what do I need to do? First things first. My name's Brutus Carpenter. Rightful head of the Carpenter family. Second thing. Someone tried to kill me a week ago. <sighs> You're not asking me to track them down and kill them, are you? No, kid. I've got hatchet men if I need them. And I don't want to kill them anyway. I just want to know who was gunning for me and why. Yeah, I know how it sounds. But after I almost died, I realized that being a hard case isn't the only option. I want to try to do things differently. I wasn't expecting mercy from a crime boss, so... What's the catch? It's not a trick, kid. I couldn't give a damn what you think about me. When you're at death's door, it makes you reassess your priorities. All right, color me interested. How did this all happen? I woke up in the crematorium inside a rolled up carpet. I had this tag on my toe like some cadaver. And I was covered in this weird rancid slime. I managed to get myself out of there. But what I saw once I got home made me think I had a screw loose. And what did you see? Me, kid. Some palooka wearing my face and walking out my front door like all was well with the world. So I decided to get out and hole up here. Gathered a small company and pulled myself together. What was your last memory before the crematorium? I can remember clearly a dinner I had a week before the incident. After that, yeah, only bits and pieces. I remember writing something in my diary. I don't recall what, except it was important. Those notes could tell us how it all started. And I suppose that diary is still in your manner. Exactly, kid in a strong box in my room. You have my permission to crack it if it's necessary. I'll write you the address. Any thoughts on who'd want to do this to you? It must be someone close to me, so I can't trust anyone. I haven't even contacted my son Graham. Normally I'd get him to solve this. I'm vulnerable now. I can't risk exposing myself. Another good reason to bring in an independent contractor. You must have tried to do something about this imposter already. Of course I did, kid. I wouldn't be asking for your help if this was just a walk in the park. My people said they killed that other me. It didn't change a thing. I guess they got the wrong guy. So where would I find the city's crematorium? Ah, uh, of course you don't know. You're a newcomer, after all. Here's the address. I got it. Okay, thank you. Oh, so it's not the end. The address yet? Okay. You mentioned your son, Graham. Can you tell me more about him? Graham? Why would you care? He has nothing to do with this. You sound pretty sure about that. Of course. Graham is too honest. And since the end of the war, he turned into a real bleeding heart. It's become a bit of a headache, actually. Of course, we've had our differences. Especially about the family business. But he would never hurt a fly. Let alone me. It appears you're quite capable of standing without aid. So why the wheelchair? Does your curiosity always beat out your courtesy? I'll tell you if it makes you happy. I'm old. Some days I feel tired. This wheelchair 
unlike many people, has never crossed me. So I know I can count on it if I need to. Goodbye. Okay, so let's visit the crematorium. Kevin's collected and... We can find something here. Really? Ooh. That's nice. Okay, this is boarded up. Hmm. Maybe he's the imposter. Show me something. Please show me something. Okay, no f nothing on the first floor, I think. Oh, can I pick that? No. Can I loot that? Yes, I can. It's useless. Anyway, hello. Yeah, top marks for quantity, but so much for quality. Even my gear's in better shape. Damn. A little blackmail, a little larceny, a worthwhile scrap or two. Just like the old day. Wait, is that a dead body now? Those are some rats. Don't get too close. Don't. Don't. And I don't trust them. That's all. Is that it's bloody brush? Oh, I guess that's what we do here. Come on. Oh. We gotta dump this garbage. Crop the brood will be here any minute. Papa Brood, eh? Hmm, but this is still not everything. No. Has to be something. Well, nothing I can see. Hmm. <sighs> Interesting. Hope you don't mind me looting. Oh, another crate. Wonder if that, if what whatever's here I can find right now. Hmm. Maybe it is in the room. This room. I'd have broken all your bones, fella, if Papa Brute hadn't put you off limits. I that he's called Papa Brute. Just calm down. No need for violence. Wait, I was talking with you. You're the guy from the ship logs. Really? You're not interested about those painting? Hmm. Maybe we cannot we can't find any other evidence just yet. It's a shame that something behind that it's close from the other side as well. Mm. This is nothing. Whoa. You? What gives? I don't know. Are you be telling me that? There's nothing. Oh can't imagine it ended well for whoever lost all this blood. This stain's almost gone. Be like it here, newcomer? Well, get used to it. No one leaves Oakmont nowadays. There's another thing here. The blood dried not too long ago. And there's the lady. And you don't want to recreate what whatever happened here. Are you sick? So. Really? He doesn't want to recreate this stuff. I wonder why. Like it here, oh, we talked to you already. Well, used to it. Hmm. No one leaves. Okay. Blood 
dried not too long ago. Why is it so wavy? Okay, and there's nothing left to do with that. Really, you're not... Sometimes I'm just amazed about the stuff he gets interested by. Still, not all evidence was collected. So, allow me take it from here and I will look... No, oh, no, you know what? No, never mind. Let's just go and do the stuff we're supposed to do right now. We'll get back later here, I'm sure. And if we won't be back... Okay, you missed it. <laughs> okay, apparently I, f I think this is all we can find here for now. But we have something new. And this. But it's never gonna change. After he regains power over his family, he'll continue as he always has. Murder will just be the star. Since chance a brush with death could make him more comp compassionate, make him see how precious. He won't be more compassionate. No, I, I'll give that because I I feel bad for him because he nearly died. But you know he's not gonna change. And. Life, goodness, manner. Wait. Okay, go. Just forget. So this is first. Come turn south. Turn reads eyes. Okay. Corner of Wayne Road and Philip Street. So we're supposed to get here. And about this. Carpenter Manor, Southern Old Grove. Okay. It's near the Gold Bridge. Road between Century, between Century, okay, Avenue and Hillside Street, so somewhere here. So we're gonna go first because if we go there, we we'll probably have to deal with the doppelganger. Okay, so we're gonna turn around and we'll visit the crematorium first. Again, the weather is getting worse and worse. Each which it with each new thing we find, I wonder if, if they're connected. Can we get somewhere near? Yes, we can. That's perfect. We will go. We will go straight for the boat, and then to the crematorium. That's gonna be okay. I think. I hope. We won't find anyone who's gonna kill us. Who will try to kill us. So that would be just prime. Could you invest in some kind of torch, please? We can see. Think, and I hate the sounds. Okay, you have your revolver. How can I? No, I don't know how to reload without having to empty. Um. Okay, let's look around. A real dot. Come on, dude. Fuck it, man. Let's go bowling. Well, nice. Oh, maybe. No, just empty caskets. Okay. Office floor two. Wait, there's second floor. Mm -hmm. I didn't see it. Sinister, so because I'm. Okay, it's closed and I'm blind. So we're going straight to Morgue. Morgue. I thought I saw something. Last week, person duty, James Warren, list of the 
deceased. Seven un unidentified corpses cremated. J has cremated a school to be cremated. V black to be cremated. Jack white to be cremated urgently. This week, person duty Robert Taylor. James Warren on sick leave si since last week. List of the deceased. 16 un unidentified corpses cremated and Jane cremated. Oh, for, I thought I took a key. <laughs> I, oh, sorry. I thought I took a pen <laughs> instead of instead of key. I locked up and left early today. The keys are on the table. P.S. This morning I heard wild beasts near the cemetery. Wait, you're not gonna. Okay. Think what's that? Oh. Whoever held this poker has got to be covered in slime. I don't want to see him. Okay. Someone tried to wash the stain out, but it's still slimy. Ugh. Stinks. Uh, the guy was talking about being covered in slime. I'm so scared, I don't care. La, 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 la. We, we cannot go upstairs, so whatever we're looking for is down there. Down there. <laughs> yes, I'm nervous. Yes, I'm scared. I might have to use the mind's eye when I'm down there. Shut up, nothing jumped out on me. Oh, what the hell? Reeks to high heaven. What is this stuff? You really want to know? Wait, I was pretty sure I could. Do. No, nothing to be seen. Inject myself with good stuff. Nope. Which one I was supposed to use the mind's eye? But no. Wait, <gasps> I saw it. And judging by the dried blood and the dent on this shovel, it was used as a weapon. That scared the hell out of, hell out of me. Really, I hate it. Okay. I need to get out of here before he comes round. Come on. What by the angles is going on? Where, where am I? Okay, so this one. Where's the last one? Oh, it's up there, all the way up there. Ah, another one for you. Burn him first chance you get. It's urgent. Let's get a handle on what actually happened. That another was first. Time. Burn him first chance you get. It's urgent. That's not thing. Um no, I don't think this happened. I think that was what by the angles is going on. Where, where am I? I need to get out of here before he comes round. Yeah. Brutus was brought in by some who had to deal with the crematorium worker. So Brutus woke up. Knocked the guy out cold and escaped. Okay. I'm happy to see that. As usual. 
first things first, let's get out of here. Okay, uh, I don't know, I always when I'm out, I, f I f feel calmer. <laughs> hmm. uh, Brutus stand for stand the crematorium worker and crematorium shift schedule. I need to talk to James Warren, the man who was on shift when Brutus woke up in the crematorium. He's suffering from a head injury and requires urgent treatment, so we'll, we will find him in hospital. Makes sense? I hope it does. Uh, it's here. Okay, let's go to the boat. And next time we'll meet, I'll be waiting at the hospital. For now, thank you very much. Bye bye.